Hello everybody, this is Dave Wallace coming to you from Waiowa, Hawaii. Aloha and welcome to my Monday video session. Um, a lot of people are doing uh, ghost stories, which is appropriate because we're leading up to Halloween. And rather than repeating what other people are doing, I decided to go my own way, <laughs> like I normally do. Okay. Anyway, I wanted to share with you uh, more of the things that I, uh, I was able to do as a healer and as a kahu and as a person who's called upon to assist in helping other people. One of the most amazing healing sessions that I ever conducted occurred while I was teaching at Campbell High School. And a lot of my students knew that uh, I had the gift of healing as a Reiki master, and a lot of my students were athletes on the uh, football players, baseball players, wrestlers, uh, track, basketball. And a lot of these uh, students would get injured and they come to my room and ask me to give them healing energy, which I would oblige. And uh, this one, particular incident occurred um, when Campbell High School had a really, really good football uh, team. In fact, uh, they were giving my alma mater Kahuku rub <laughs> for a couple years that it was there. Anyway, and uh, one of those teams, uh, I had the starting center for the team was in my classes, taking my class, and um, they were they had just played and won a uh, semi uh, semifinal game and the starting center got injured in the game. And uh, I knew he got injured. I was watching the game and, uh, you know, the following Monday he came to my class. He was in crutches and his thigh was bandaged really heavily and he was walking with a severe limp. He could barely move. And uh, when he came to my class, he came to my class during lunchtime and he was really, really down because um, according to him, his doctor said that he couldn't play anymore. His season went, uh, was ended. So um, he asked me if uh, I could help him with his injury. The injury that he had was a deep bruise, um, bruised thigh and um, he was wa walking on crutches, and when he came to, to my class, he showed me his thigh, and there was a big, big black patch, a huge bruise, um, just black and blue, just covering um, most of his thigh, about the size of and shape of a football. So I looked at him and I told him, oh boy, you're not wearing your thigh pads, huh? <laughs> he said, oh no, mister. Uh, they get in my way. He says, well, that's the price you pay for not playing, not wearing your pad there. There is a pad that's supposed to go over there. He goes, oh, I know, mister. And he started crying. And so um, I says, well, you come during lunchtime and I'll spend the lunchtime um, in a class and we'll try and see what we can do. So um, at lunch, <laughs> he came back in my class and um, with a couple of his buddies and he put his crutches down and he unwrapped his, um, his thigh to show me his injury. And I looked at him and I says, man, I don't, I don't know what I can do. It's just really, really dark and really heavily um, damaged. And he says, well, mister, can you just try and so I talked to him and I says, how much do you want, um, how much do you want to play? He says, well, mister, this may be my, my last game I ever play, a uh, football game. I says, okay, so it means a lot to you. He says, yeah. And so I asked him, um, do you believe that you can be healed? And he says, yes, I do. And I says, very good. And uh, I told him that, um, you know, for me, I'm just an instrument, but 
God is up to God uh, to heal. And it says, do you believe in God? Oh, yes, miss, I believe in God. Okay, so um, let's call on him and invite him to the healing. <laughs> okay, and uh, I said a little prayer uh, for me and to guide me in the healing. Now, when I heal, uh, the hands that I use is not the traditional Reiki flat hand approach. Um, normally, as a form, I heal with a cupped hand like this. And for those of you who are healers out there who are healers, uh, rather than trying to apply um, healing energy using flat hand, try cupping your hand. Because when you cup your hand, um, what you're doing is that you are cut, um, focusing the energy and condensing the energy, okay, in your hands. So by cupping your hands, they become more powerful. The energy coming out from your hands come out far, far more powerful. On top of that, I use a different type of energy uh, not taught in Reiki class, and this is the uh, pure energy that God used to create the universe. That specific energy has a name. And uh, for those people who took my classes and stuff, you know the name of the power that I'm uh, asking to join me in healing. So cupping my hands and channeling this particular energy um, is one advantage that I use. Another advantage that uh, many healers uh, will sometimes talk about, and uh, but not enough, is the power of the mind. What do you see and what do you want to accomplish when you are healing someone or in a, um, in a process of healing someone? For me, when I looked at this young man's thigh, and, which was exposed, <laughs> and I could see it was just a big, big black spot. And it was hurting, and he said it was throbbing. When I looked at this, um, I began to visualize, try and think of something that I could compare this, um, you know, black and blue, this deep bruise to, and the the one vision that came to my mind was a stagnant pond. A pond that was uh, dammed up by a beaver. <laughs> so you have a big pond of water and it's stale and it's standing still and not moving. Well, that's what I imagined this bruise to be. And my job as a healer, using the energy that I'm bringing in and directing and focusing in on this patch of black and blue that I was looking at, I started to visualize myself tearing apart a dam that was keeping this water from flowing. And as the dam began to break and as the water started to move, I felt um, this warm energy coursing through my hands. And I held my uh, hands just over this booze. And we were talking story, um, you know, me and this young man and his companions that were there in the room with us. And I just held my hands slightly above his, um, his affected area and cupped and visualizing this breaking down of a stagnant pond and restoring circulation into the pond so that the water is moving and it started moving and I could feel movement in my in my hands I could feel movement pushing and uh, eventually beginning to move things inside this bruise and my lunch period is only 30 minutes after about 25 minutes, you know, I decided all this time I, the, the bruise was covered was under his shorts and stuff and I wasn't touching. But as soon as I started feeling like, um, wow, you know, the energy that's coursing through my hands is not as strong right now. 
and because it's not that strong um, something's happening so um, as the energy got less and less I asked um, this young man to you know take a look at the bruise because something is different about it I could feel something was different well he rolled up his shorts <laughs> and to everyone's surprise where there was once deep dark black bruise was just a big red mark no black at all the bruise had cleared itself and he's looked at me kind of like whoa and he looked back at his thigh and he started crying and his friends that were there and so they're all looking at me and said wow miss no more bruise <laughs> yeah so i challenged the boy the young man i says you know what with the bruise garden you should be able to walk so he stood up and he walked across the room came back without a limp now this is a man that came into my this is a young man that came into my room on crutches could barely walk he left my classroom walking out in his own power without the aid of of uh, the crutches later on that day he went back to see his doctor show the doctor what had happened and he got cleared for uh, the next game which was that following weekend so this is the uh, most um, actually surprising and uh, one of the most uh, enjoyable okay and rewarding healing sessions that I had as a teacher at Campbell and as a healer and uh, you know it's really interesting that when something like this happens and I was expecting oh, a long line of kids you know lined up in my uh, outside my room um, because wow I, I was able to uh, do this or help someone um, heal themselves but uh, <laughs> After that happened for a long time, nobody dared came to, to come to my room. And when I finally started asking the athletes, I said, hey, how come nobody's coming around over here? One of them says, mister, they heard what you did to the football player and they're scared. <laughs> so, you know, uh, doing good work and stuff um, especially something that was showable and was really really there um, it sometimes can come like uh, impede your work rather than help anyway this is Dave Wallace and I hope you enjoyed this story and uh, share it if you um, are a healer you can uh, call me up and we can talk story or leave a message here okay and uh, this is Dave Wallace saying mahalo for watching and see you next time. Aloha.